Hey folks, today I'm going to talk about uh, something that's been affecting all us farmers, all us small farmers, and even everybody across the country. It's inflation. I want to talk about how it's affected every detail of our farm operation here. I'm going to start off with seeds. I'm sitting out here in my pumpkin patch, and these pumpkins look fantastic. I'm really pleased with those, but I had a 60% increase of my seed cost this year over last year. So in one year, it's went up 60%. And I try to, uh, you know, hold the cost down on my varieties, and uh, I'm not going to do that anymore because I've grown some cucumber varieties I don't really like just because they're very expensive, and so uh, that's probably even go up even more next year. But we actually had to go up a little bit on our prices at uh, at the farmers market. Uh, don't you know? We've had to we try to keep our prices as low as we can, but you know, it's just one of the things we. We're not going to do it just for free, uh, so we had to go up a little bit on our prices. But the inflation's really affected the seed cost, and uh, uh, it, it's showing up on everybody. And, you know, I'm pretty lucky. I kind of know where to go, kind of to buy some, you know, some high quality seeds. That, uh, not a lot, of, you know, try to hold my prices down. So I do a lot of shopping, uh, and I know where the wholesalers are. But you know, if you just go to some. Uh, kind of like store I mean you, you really felt the pinch but this is the first area that is, we felt back in January when we first ordered the seeds for this year uh, I added it all up and it was I was kind of shocked by the price and uh, and we didn't buy we didn't go extravagant you know but what do you do we got to do something so we went ahead and did it and uh, uh, but we we're all right right now we're in the, we're in the uh, black so we're doing pretty good so uh, inflation really affected us here and it's affected you at, your, at the supermarket and it's outrageous, you know. I'm actually selling cheaper at the, far, at the farmer's market than you can buy at Food City or at your local grocery store, I guarantee. And it's fresher. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I pick this stuff like one or two days before I sell it. I don't know when they pick it at the farmer's market, I mean at the supermarket. So come to the farmer's market, get you some nice fresh produce and most of it's cheaper than the supermarket. Another place where inflection is it is hard is on animal feed, especially chicken feed. I think at the start of 2021, I was paying 17 cents a pound. Start of the 2023, I went, jumped all the way up to 38 cents a pound. Now I've uh, went to a different brand. I'm at 34 cents a pound. And it takes quite a few poundage to feed uh, all our hens. So, and we had to go up a price on, uh, we went up a dollar on a dozen. We were at $2. Uh, before the start of the year, we had to go up. You know, it's just because of our feed costs. I mean, if feed costs come back down, we'll go back down. But that inflation has really hit us hard on feed costs. And, uh, you know, we had to pass it through. I mean, that's just one of the reasons the eggs were so high at the start of the year at the grocery store. And, and we're still, comparable speaking, we sell ours as pasture raised. A pasture raised dozen of eggs I checked the other day were like six dollars and some cents, and we're at three dollars. So uh, we're still making a, we make just a little bit of money on that, and uh, but that's okay. Uh, we enjoy it, and of course I get a lot more benefits than just uh, the eggs. You know, I've used this as a fertilizer program and a weed control. So that's one thing I, you know, that's one thing I like about this system here. And also, you know, when I move them. Uh, you know, it kind of cuts down on my feed costs, probably about 20% or so, I figure. So I try to keep them prices low. That's why I'm at $3 instead of, you know, eight, seven or eight dollars. And you're getting a high quality product here. So feed costs is really, inflation on feed is really, really put a lot of pressure on us.
one place that inflation is really really his hard is equipment now if you've been following the channel you know we want to buy a compact tractor and after i got the prices you know i'm kind of had to moderate that a little bit and uh you know i'm gonna wait to see if that come down a little bit of course we've run in some other things too if you want to go back and watch and why but you know i was lucky i got this tractor i bought this tractor brand new in 2012 gave nineteen thousand dollars for it 55 horse with a front end loader, big tires, rear remote, rear, rear remote. So, and uh, I thought it was a pretty good deal at the time. And, uh, but now for a compact tractor, I'm paying them, you know, they want 10,000 more than I paid for this, you know, utility tractor. And uh, I mean, that's really hit us hard because we really feel like we need another smaller tractor, especially get into the high tunnels, cultivating, weed control. Uh, it would just make our life a little easier. Another thing about this we don't think of is diesel. It takes a lot of diesel to operate these tractors and a lot of gas to operate my tillers and mowers. And uh, so, you know, diesel is up probably two, a dollar and a half, two dollars more than it was a year ago. Gas is up, you know, at least a dollar something. So, you know, that all affects us. Uh, and you know, you, you all feel it too. You know, it affects you driving to work and everything. So just imagine us too. We had, I gotta still drive to work. I gotta drive to the market. I gotta pay extra, sh higher shipping rates to get my stuff in here. And I gotta pay fuel and oil and maintenance for these equipment that we have. So, you know, it, it all costs money and that's really starting to pinch us, uh, the inflation on this equipment. We also want to put in another high tunnel or two and uh, we're going to have to wait on that because of prices. Uh, metal prices are up, plastics up, uh, shipping's up. So we bought these two at the same time. Now the prices for one is the same as what we paid for two. And these are not that old. These are uh, less than four years old. So right before about 2019, right before the pandemic, you know, so when we got these, we were lucky to get them in, I guess, looking back. But we would like to put in two more. Uh, just, you, know, you get such a better product. Uh, but we're going to have to wait until the prices is moderate on that. So that's another way inflation has hurt us. And lastly, uh, where it's really hurt us is we can't expand. We can't afford to expand. Uh, land on both sides of us is really skyrocketed, skyrocketed in price. Uh, I just don't know if we'll ever get to expand. Uh, we was wanting to expand this way and we've been negotiating. We just can't seem to come together. Uh, you know, I got urban sprawl coming from this side, from the south, and it's really driving up prices just at the end of my road. Got uh, three new subdivisions coming in. Uh, when we first moved out here, our road was gravel. Tells you how it was, how remote this area was. And uh, now it's uh, it's really growing up. It's coming our way. So uh, prices are not going to go down. Don't look like so much buying pressure in our area. Uh, if we probably want to expand, we're going to probably have to move. And I um, don't know if I'm going to get there or not. So we're kind of landlocked. So we're going to use the, every bit of our land to the advantage. And we're going to change some things. You know, we just kind of want to add some stuff. But, you know, it's not in the card. So we ain't going to do it. I mean, we can't go bankrupt, you know, trying to buy land. That's another way. And I, I, I feel sorry for young people that's wanting a homestead, wanting to start a small farm, especially in this. I don't know how it is out in the rest of the country, but around here is very expensive. I don't know how you would do it. I mean, you'd have to inherit or somebody give you some land or something like that, and you could do it. But if you're starting out like we had to do just from scratch, it's going to be really, really tough. So. I feel sorry for y'all and uh, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do about it, but you know, we're all feeling the squeeze. So what are you saying? Well, what can I do to help? What can I do to fight this? Uh, support your local farmer. Uh, cut that middleman out. Uh, you're getting a high quality product without the middleman prices. So uh, find your local farmer, find a local farmer's market and buy local. And uh, that'll help out everybody. Uh, and help us out because we spend our money in the community. So, I mean, it'll go for other things. You know, we have bills too. So, hey, help support your local farmer. Uh, quick announcement, uh, 
this Friday and next Monday where I'm not going to have a video. Uh, my birthday is Thursday, so I'm going to take a couple days off. Uh, it's my 60th birthday. I know I only look like I'm 30, but I'm actually going to be turning 60. So, uh, getting tickled. My cameraman's laughing. So, I'm going to take a couple days off to celebrate my birthday. So, I'll be back July 26th with a new video. Of course, I will have one this Wednesday. Just Friday and Monday, uh, the 21st and the 24th, I will not have a video. So, uh, and I have getting together stuff for the giveaway. I was going to have a thousand subscriber giveaway. I'm in 1849 this morning. I haven't looked yet a little while today. So, we're about 1850-ish. And uh, so, we are working on some stuff. And that'll be after the 26th when I announce that. So, hey, hope you liked the video. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And tell us how inflation's hitting you and how you're dealing with it. Or does it not even bother you maybe i'm just kind of worried about it too much so leave a comment let me know how y'all doing hey appreciate y'all watching support your local farmer we'll see you down in the farm next video